Good day, Tin Top Terrors. I'm on Silent and we're on the air with another new game and new series on the channel. If you're a fan of Codemasters games, or maybe you're just a fan of Tin Tops, like I am, you already know what I'm about to play. It is Toka 2 Touring Cars from 1998, developed and published by Codemasters. This game is sort of a uh, sim, sort of sim about the 1998 British Touring Car Championship. This is when the series was at its height of popularity. Eight manufacturers in it, uh, legendary drivers, and uh, just massive worldwide appeal too. Even I watched this growing up. So here we are in the main menu. I've got this thing set up. Uh, I will leave you with a link in the description to where I downloaded the game from because it also came with a Windows 7 patch as well. So just as an FYI, that's how I got it running. I'll leave it in the description down below because it was not one of my usual abandonware sites that I got this from. So I had to, I had to kind of go go a little bit off, off, the, uh, off the board for this one. So yeah, this is, uh, and I'm playing this with the controller. Uh, I suppose I could have, there's controller setup. I'm just using my Xbox One controller, I don't know. And so it's, yeah, just nice and set up and it all works nice, nice. I'm, 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 I think we're going okay so far. I mean, the only problem was capturing it. And if you're wondering if you're a Let's Player or streamer, wondering how I'm doing this, I am using my capture card. I have an Avermedia capture device that I got a couple of years ago on a Black Friday sale. So it's you working off of that capture device. So anyway, yes. What we're going to do over the next number of weeks, I, I did a uh, quick test section in a Formula Ford before this. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do over the next several weeks is we're going to do the 1998 British Touring Car Championship. So one player difficult. Oh, I can. Okay. Uh, best round 12, 140, 140 points. Okay, I guess we're going to do... Let's do standard. Uh, just because I don't... I, I haven't tried standard yet. In the quick race, hang on, let's go back for half a second. I'll just walk you through the game really fast. Uh, just really fast. Yep, that's me. Uh, oh, yeah, you've got unlockable cars and unlockable tracks and all that. Just grab the Nissan for a second. So if you haven't won a race at a track, where haven't I been? I don't think I've been to... I know I have done Silverstone. So I'm locked in to Novice because I haven't won a race here, but... Donington, I think I won, so I can go to standard. Just thought I'd throw that one out there real fast, so I'm a little surprised I got to play one on standard. So that's what we're going to do, is we're going to play on standard difficulty. I am on silent, of course, again. Now, car, this is where the fun begins. Now, you can... There is a livery editor. I think you just have to use paint or something for that, but I haven't set it up, so... Um, I'm not going to do that. So, there are eight manufacturers. Let's walk them through real fast. Back from the left all the way to the right. So, you can race as the Honda and the Accord. There's Audi and the A4. The Vauxhall Vectra. The Volvo S40. Ricard Rydell won the championship in uh, 98. Spoilers. The Ford Mondeo. The Nissan Primera. And the Peugeot 406. And the Renault Laguna. Now, I'm trying to remember. I I've already narrowed down who I'm not racing as. So I'm not racing as the Volvo because they won the championship. I'm not racing the Ford because I've all raced Ford all the damn time. Nissan, I think, won the won the team's championship, so I'm taking them out of the equation. And who else? Laguna, the Renault Laguna was fourth, I, or second, sorry, I think, in the team's championship. So I'm taking the so I've taken the top three and the one and the manufacturer I always drive. And that leaves the Peugeot 206, the Vauxhall Vectra by Triple Eight Racing. They have an Australian spin-off you might have heard of, but that since now is owned independently of this Triple Eight Racing, an Audi, and the Honda. But uh, I'm gonna knock out the Vo the Vauxhall Vector because it's a GM, and the Peugeot because it's a Peugeot. <laughs> it was stone dead. I mean, in the was it in the team's championship they finished below one of the independents. So it's Honda or Audi, right? What do you want to drive? I used to have a coin around here. Where'd my coin go?
I looked up the standings. Out of these two, the Audi finished lower. So we're just going to drive the Audi instead. We're going to, we're going to drive the Audi A4, front wheel drive. Uh, apparently this was a rule change that came in in 97, because I think it was the 96 Audi A4. It had the Quattro four-wheel drive and proceeded to whip everyone's ass. So they changed the rule so it couldn't just go out and whip everyone's ass. So every... Notice... Oops. No, we want automatic. Uh, notice how everyone is rocking front-wheel drive. Varying cylinder counts, mind. Uh, I know, for example, that that Volvo S40 is a five-cylinder... <laughs> Because it's Volvo, so of course it has five cylinders. Uh, yeah, so let's take a let's uh, take a run at it with the Audi A4. Now, change livery is just really just thickening up, changing the uh, changing some of the the bits on the car. Maybe we'll maybe we'll go with the brighter red one. So here we are at the start of this season's British Touring Car Championship. The new rule changes make anything possible this year, with the added pit stops putting pressure on the teams as well as the drivers. So let's get down to the action and the opening rounds of the championship here at Thruxton. And the sun is beating down. Perfect weather for the big crowd who've turned out today. That, of course, is the voice of Tiffany Dell. The, uh, I was going to say... Sort of uh, legendary television presenter of Top Gear and Fifth Gear fame, as well as uh, did some sports car racing, did some F1 racing. I think he did some BTCC as well at various points. So um, Tiff knows his way around a race car, not to mention the fact that uh, Tiff, one of the best, uh, best power sliders in the business. Like, I know Jeremy Clarkson likes to get a car sideways, but Tiff is better. And I love Clarkson. Tiff is, well, of course Tiff is better. Tiff's a racing car driver. So anyway. Yeah, so we're going to do the sprint race today. Uh, so it'll be qualifications. I think it's a single lap shootout qualifications was introduced for this season. So we'll do the, um, we'll, we'll do the quali. We'll hit the race. We can do some setup work, but I have absolutely no idea. Because I haven't taken a car around Thru Oh god, I've not taken a car around Thruxton. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. I gotta learn fast. So on we go to the first qualifying session of the day. The new Toka rules for qualifying give the drivers only one lap to prove their mettle before the race itself begins. With only one mistake from the drivers sending them to the back of the grid, tension should be very high indeed. I'm trying to find a camera position I like. So the problem is, I don't know what this turn is. I don't know how sharp any of these turns are, so it's just like, go in and pray and hope for the best. I scrubbed off a lot of speed through that sequence, so I don't know if that's good or not. And this one looks flat. Well, there was no sign, so... Hug the inside. And we're coming off of this long sequence here, so I assume we got to... Hard turn coming up soon. Passing zone, right? In spite the fact the controls being analog, it's, it, it still does not feel like... Man, this is a fast circuit. Still doesn't feel particularly um, not keyboard-like, unfortunately. I've wound it up to top speed of 137, so I imagine this turn... Oh, it's a chicane coming up. It's a right-left. Ride that curb like a good touring car driver. Hold the inside because we're back to the pit straight. Let's see where that time puts him on the grid. Let's see 119. So the session draws to a close and heading the grid for the first time this year is Nissan's David Leslie. Well, not surprising. The Nissans were fast, Tiff. So we have not ended up on the first page. Not a bad qualifying session for Audi's new driver, who achieves a middle-order grid position. I mean, I'm only three-tenths off of Ivan. Ivan Muller is my teammate in the other Audi. So, I mean, I'm only three-tenths off. So, I mean, I'm, I'm in with a shot, right? Like, I, I'm not in the top half of the grid, but, I mean, at least, you know, for a track I don't know and a car I don't know, 
because I knew it was going to be down to the, I basically left it down to the Honda and the Audi, so I haven't driven those in any of my tests yet. So I, I, I knew nothing coming into this, so I at least feel a little better about myself after that. Now you can make some changes to the car. Now, oh, okay. Here's the problem. Just a little tick more top speed. I was like, here's the problem. It's like, wait, lower. That's, that's, yeah, to the wards the right is where you add some more speed. So that's, that's what I want. Now what else do I have? Brake bias, downforce, uh, tires. Suspension, which is pretty neutral. Okay. We'll be fine for now. Uh, I did, I think my Donington, I did one race at Donington and it was wet. And like on the second right there, I don't know all the names of turns at Donington, the second right there, I turn it in, the ass end of the car comes around and I'm around and I'm like, man, I should have changed this up. <laughs> anyway, let's get racing. First time out, four laps around a sunny Thruxton. All the drivers are on the grid and the lights are about to come on. Let's see who gets away in the lead. Now where's the... Bogs down a little bit. Should have run the let revs higher. But not a... Oh, we got passed by a Mondeo. Now, unfortunately, look left and right is a... Oh! Baird... Oh, there it is proper, proper touring car action because I've already gotten clattered. Now we're going to hop the curve around Harvey there. There's Yvonne ahead of me. Oh, Hoy's just rubbing off the side. You can see the paint chips coming off of the Ford there. Oh, crap. I was trying to cut off, uh, trying to cut off the Peugeot behind me. play rear guard for Yvonne for a little bit there until I can catch back up to him. We are holding station just in front of him. But I'm losing... I, I probably could have rocked less downforce on the car here. And maybe that is something worth looking into for the feature race. There's two races. Sprints and features in the 98 BTCC. We're 1 and 41 hundredths behind Yvonne. We are much better through that chicane than everyone else. And this seems like a bad place to be, to be on the outside of Yvonne here. Yeah, he had much better uh, line through there. So we'll slide in behind. Now we've kind of cut up the inside. Oh, that was close. I don't want to know how close, but that was close. Now, hi, Jason Plato, fifth gear presenter and touring car legend. Whoa. Okay, maybe not on, not always on the curb. So we're probably going to give this spot back to Yvonne before the end of the straight, realizing that the straight is most of the track. He's looking inside. I can't see him, he's in my blind spot. I've got a literal blind spot here. I love it. Yeah, maybe I'll let him by since he's trying to kill me. Oh, I just realized I'm number 12. I like that number. Okay, this works out. That was usually my number growing up in hockey, so I think I can get him. He did brake check me a little bit. Didn't attack the curve on the left, but we did attack it on the right. So we've made our way up to the top half of the field, getting by Yvonne. But now we've got Anthony Reed in a Nissan. Not many names I've committed to memory, but Anthony was one of them. Is it Anthony or Anthony Reed? In my head, I'm thinking Anthony Reed because I'm just thinking, well, they're British. They like saying Anthony. Whoa, I've overcooked it. Oh my goodness, no. I well overcooked it into that turn, and now I'm stone dead. Come on, the boss isn't going to be happy with this position. 
Well, thanks, Jeff. I don't know if that's actually your name, but it is now. I did that the last lap, too. More dire consequences this time out. We'll be fine. I have faith. I hope. If I don't, well, mm hmm. Final lap. Repeat. This is the final lap. Thanks, Jeff. So we've caught up a couple seconds on on the lead group, or uh, lead group. Back it down to fifth. That way we keep it under control. Yeah, we're slower in the straights, but we're a little faster in turns. What that tells me is I need to really dial back some downforce here. Now, Radisich, ooh. I should not have ducked to the inside there. Because now I'm taking a long way around for the rest of this lap, basically. We should be able to get him for, yeah, I am just, just like I've got a parachute on the back of the car on the straights. Scrubbing off speed turning doesn't help either. We've got a little slipstream. We should be able to get him. Yeah. I think we've got a little more top end because of the gears. Attack the curves there. Well, that'll have to do. One mistake, right? I said that all throughout the NFS LP. One mistake. That's going to get you, right? You got me. Uh, no, I don't want to view the replay. So, let's see the final results. Well, with the race now over, it's the first victory of the season for Volvo's Ricard Rydell. Leslie and Ellen Menu round out the top three. Yvonne finished eighth, so he got some points. And the newcomer can't afford to repeat that performance too often. Thanks, Tiff. So, next up is the feature race. It'll be nine laps long and features a pit stop as well. Now, I'm thinking... So, it's five ticks up. So, let's take one tick off on the downforce. And then we'll call it there. And I think that will be where we want to run for qualifying. But we'll take a quality lap just to be safe and see how we go. So it's a one lap all or nothing attempt which sets the grid this year. So let's see who's willing to push the hardest. Okay, so the, the stripe on the side, all right. So the stripe means I haven't had a pit stop yet. But if you take the stripe, when you come in and pit, I think it's what you've got to come in, pit, change two tires at a minimum. So, oh, just saved that. That thing just leapt out from underneath me. Uh, so, yeah, so when you come in and pit and change your tires, then you have to also uh, yank off the tab on the side so that way everyone knows that you have, in fact, pitted for your mandatory pit stop. Oh, my goodness. How the hell did I lose it in a straight line? I think the setup's fine. Is there a restart button? Oh, no, there isn't. All right. Not good. So we're going to be starting shotgun on the field. As it was a 19 that I got last time, and I don't think we're going to get anywhere close to repeating that. If we come close to that, it would be nothing short of a miracle. With all the drivers left completed, let's take a look at the final grid positions for the race. So, at the end of the session, taking his first pole of the year, it's Nissan Hotshot, Anthony Reid. Anthony, I was right. No, uh, so we would have done a 19... We did a 19-4 last time, and if we had repeated that, I would have been starting in the top half of the grid. So... Ah... 
so that lap puts the newcomer right in the thick of it at the start. And I, I at least I did time ahead of Yvonne in the uh, in the other Audi, so we've got that going for me, which is nice. I'm okay with the setup as is, so we'll do nine laps. Somewhere in the middle, I have to take a pit stop, so uh, pit strategy could come into play. The the I said I think the standard strategy would just be like pit in the middle. But we'll see how we're doing and what everyone else is ar around me is doing. If I'm getting held up, I'll come in early, try and get some get some clean air and do some hot laps. And if I'm running good, I'll leave it to the bitter end. So we'll see what happens. Next up, we have the feature race. With the media reporting a possible ousting from the team, the newcomer really needs to get his act together today. Are you shitting me? I have to win my second race? <laughs> but knowing that, I would have just gotten the goddamn... Uh, I would have just gotten the goddamn uh, Volvo or Nissan and run that. Not a great start. So we'll see how we go again. Right now... All over the ass end of Radisich. Now, got Hoy in front. So we're going to sit in line here. And realizing that's a short way through there. Very careful through here. Now we're going to start pulling them back here. Now, we can dive up the inside of Cox into the final chicane. I don't know why they like tapping the brakes there. A little contact up ahead. Getting to third. So we'll have a little more momentum coming out of there. Just, uh... A little more acceleration than if we were in fourth. Come in anytime now. So the first lap of the pit window. So they'll probably tell us when the last lap of the pit window is. Alright. Morbidelli just bang off the side of him. I think that's Derek Warwick in front of us. Morbidelli's oh, <laughs> there he is. How's it? Is that Johnny Morbidelli? XF1 driver. Where did Johnny... Oh, there he is. Let's see. Where did our boy Johnny go? There he is. There we go. Winding it back up. Got some time that we got to make up here. Wark and Morbidelli looking side by side with each other. Am I going to take a three in here? Yes, I am. That's as late as I dare on the brakes. And now we're behind Clellan and the Vauxhall. Now, here's the question. Thanks, Jeff. Well, that's gonna hurt. Lost a spot, and but time is the more valuable thing we lost there. But we've got clear air, which is the important thing, so we don't have to worry about anyone else. Being very careful on the thumbstick and still managing to almost loop it. Just keep it wound up. Keep it all wound up here. We've got lots of time to make up.
Now where's Pit in? Right there, coming out of the chicane. All right. I see that. Because Derek's still got the yellow stripe on the side of his car. Very ginger through there. There we go. Nice and catch back up to Cleland. Ah, I should have stuck in line. Oh no. Maybe got in front of him. He might have tagged me on the way by. Very gingerly through here. Long, long, long isn't straight. So we're up to P4 because everyone else is pitting. We gotta learn driving this thing. Oh, Ricard Rydell is in front of us. 2.6. I'll be able to make this. Oh, Rydell's pulled off. That leaves one of the Renaults in front of us. Thanks, Jeff. That was very touring car. <laughs> Hop the curb. <laughs> Make the pass. Anthony Reed's in front, so we're in P2. Anthony was the pole sitter, so we've made some catching up to do, despite our spin earlier. Uh, so that is good. We are... Oh, best lap of 14.99. Old girl's got some pace in her still. I can make something happen here. I got a feeling. I got a good feeling. Eyes ahead, Steve. Make sure you don't do anything stupid. Now here, we're getting to the point where I kind of wonder, do I do the opposite of the leader? I'm thinking I'm just going to do the op- if I can't get by him here, I think I can- Dive him! Yes, you're doing great. Now what's he doing? He is- he's staying out, okay. I wasn't sure- Alright, box, 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 Jeff, box, box, box. Nearly lost it through there, but held on and gained some time. Pulled 1.6 on Reed through there, basically. Nope. Ah, Jesus. How the hell do you spin going in basically a straight line? Again. Need to turn, turn down the sensitivity, turn up the sensitivity on the steering? I don't know. All right, we're coming back home here. Recognize this stretch. We're coming back home. Still going fast. Still going faster. Pulling time on Anthony. Box, boxing, boxing, boxing. I didn't realize it was asking me how I wanted it done. Break. Gear. Go. Okay, we've fallen down to P4. But we were ahead of Rydell after the stop, so that's good. Now, the question becomes is does the car. Is, I need Jeff to tell me what's the situation with the cars in front. Because if I don't know how hard I need to push, because Warwick, he might have stopped, I don't know, but six seconds, that's a lot of, that's a lot of weight, oof, Jesus Christ. They like war could have stopped, I mean, everyone's got a box this time, right? 
Everyone's got a box this time. Because it's the last lap of the window. It's the last lap of the window. So I got a... So if they all stop, I'm good. If they don't stop, I've got to find a hell of a lot of speed. So we're five seconds slower. Now, who's in front? There's, I see two cars in pits. Anyone else? I can't tell. Excellent driving. Keep it up. And we've, then they all had to pit. Now I've got fresh fronts. I should have gone for fresh rears with the way the ass end of this car wants to keep going around on me. Why fresh rears? Because I'd rather the rear grip to keep the back end of the car in line than the front grip to help me turn. Maybe the downforce was a good thing. The car's faster without the downforce, but the problem is it's harder to control without the downforce. Funny thing that, right? Okay. Nice and easy. Keep it in the middle of the goddamned road, Steve, and you will be fine. It's basically L1 and a, what, a quarter at this point? Looking out the back, there's menu. Okay, maybe those fresh fronts are helpful. Attack the curb. Gives a little room there. Just run over this. We got time. I'm not hustling. Final lap. Repeat. This is the final lap. All right. L1, 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 and we're in P1. That's exactly what you want to see. Nice and easy through that right. That has been the one that's tried to kill me multiple times. And actually, keeping it wrangled in, we're up a third of a second on that split. Oh boy. Maybe I should have taken the Peugeot. Also, I feel like I'm under a lot of pressure. I feel like I am under a lot of pressure in this championship to... to win this race. That's, that's a lot of pressure, so I'm driving my butt off right now. Lost three hundredths through that sector. Oh, Anthony Reed's come up into P number two, but we should be fine and wave that flag. Let's go. Now nah, I'm good without the replay. That one was just that was just hard work and determination. Let's have a look at the final race positions. And that's a great result for the new Audi driver with his first visit to the top of the podium in a feature race. Didn't you tell me I didn't have a damn choice last time, Tiff? <laughs> so I took home 15 points for the win. How'd, uh, how'd uh, Yvonne do? 15th. Not good, Yvonne. Not good. I didn't get a good look at the front of the car, but I get the feeling we may have used it up a bit. A bit. From the looks of it. And look at that crowd. Aren't they happy? So, let's see how today's results affected the championship table. Well, with a huge number of points still available, it's difficult to read too much into the championship table at this stage. I'd have to agree with you on that one, Tiff. But the Audi boys were both on the board. Let's see how today's events affect the Constructors Championship table. Now, eh, fourth isn't bad. I mean, considering the real one that the Audi's finished sixth. But I think that's pretty, pretty true to real life. Other than... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's pretty true to real life other than where the Audi and the Hondas are. Well, we've kind of knocked around the Vectors a bit as well. So yeah. It's not too far off. The top three are definitely right. I know that. Now 
And that'll take us back to... Okay, I guess... Uh, standard championship. I guess this is... Um, there's points on offer as well. I guess what we're, we're the, the idea is to go to the top of the leaderboard. Hey, whatever works. By the way, there is... Uh, before we uh, sign off for the day. There is information about this is Thruxton. And so it kind of tells you where your turning points are, what the uh, what the uh, driving line is. Brake hard for the first corner, but aim to exit with as much speed as possible, so pretty standard. But it wants you to hug the inside on that, uh, I guess, tar is the turn. So it wants you to hug the inside there. And then just kind of hold, just go, just kind of hold it fast throughout the entire rest of the lap. This one, aim for the first grandstand on entry and brake before the left-hand turn. I think I had it pretty... See, it doesn't feel like on track. It doesn't feel like that that turn at brow is as bad as it is in this picture, though. It feels like you've got a little more time to work with between brow and the first right on the chicane. But it says break before the left hand turn. Almost like if you're if you're daring enough and you've got the right ang the right trajectory, you don't have to break going in. You can make that cut in, then hammer on the brakes before you come back to the left. Okay, I I hadn't thought of it that way. It didn't look like I could pull that one off. Then back to Allard to start the lap. And the next up is is Silverstone. Now this is one I know. But I think this is taking us on the uh, international circuit. So at Maggots Beckett's, you cut down. Uh, is it? Uh, no, is it, or maybe it is the full circuit. So it's not Maggots Beckett's and then cuts us back down to uh, into Brooklyn's. And then through Luffield. Because this is talking about bridge. So if we got to make that whole run, that's fine. I say it's uh. I was gonna say I feel like it's missing a piece here. It's maggots, Beckett's, and then we're stowing here. I was gonna say unless that it, oh unless that is the um. Oh, this might be the uh, because there's no veil either. So I think this might be the international circuit because we don't go to Stowe and we don't go to we don't go to uh, Vale. So it's cops and maggots, then turns down to these weird S's here, and then we come back up and Abbey is a hairpin before heading down towards Bridge. So it's not the, there's another version of the circuit where it kind of cuts back down to where it cuts down that long. Um, thing in the middle, the uh, the runway in the middle there. Anyway, yeah. What we'll do is we'll call it a day there for Toka 2 and come back next time with uh, Event 2, with uh, Race Meeting 2 of the 1998 British Touring Car season at Silverstone. But until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is on silent on air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget you can check out plenty more classic racing in the playlists there on the screen in the description down below. And more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And we will see you next time.